Hi guys, I'm Bharat and welcome again. In this video, I'll walk you through the process of setting up a Google Cloud Platform account. Whether you're a developer, student, or a business professional, GCP provides powerful tools for cloud computing. So uh, let's get started. So first of all, you have to head to the website cloud.google.com and then you have to sign in with your Google account. All right, so now you can see I have signed in on my Google Cloud platform. Now to basically start using Google Cloud features, I will head out to the console section of Google Cloud platform, which is uh, present right here. All right, uh, so I can just agree on the terms and condition. And so yeah, that's it. Your Google account uh, platform is actually set up right now, and now you can access different kind of resources, APIs, or any kind of things you're going to, or you want to access through the Google Cloud. Uh, suppose if I have to access the Google Sheets API, I can go to Google Sheets API, and uh, it will ask me to enable it. I can enable it, and I can literally use the Google Sheets API like that. So it is a pretty straightforward process. And for certain APIs, you might need to enable uh, billing, which can be enabled using this button, which is which says start free. So if I actually um, click on start free, you can set up your billing and now you can access to all Google's Cloud products and you actually get $300 in free credit. So you can use that for your personal project as well. So yeah, as you can see, I've enabled the Google Sheets API and I can actually start using this API using the credentials. For the credentials, I will first have to create an IAM admin account. So for creating the IAM admin account, I can go to IAM and admin, then I can head to IAM and then I can head to service account section. And now I can create a service account to actually start using Google Cloud services like APIs and uh, rather creating VMs or something like that. So when I create and create a service account, I can just fill in the basic details. Now I can just create the users. Uh, and I can just create the user by clicking on done button. And now a service account has been created. So for basically uh, using the APIs, I actually need the credential for which I need this service account to be functional. So now I can go inside this service account and now I can actually create a key which is needed for accessing uh, API calls through your code. So I can just click on add key, I can just click on create new key and then I can click on JSON type and I can create it and now I can save it anywhere I want. Uh, that's how saving the keys work. All right, so now this key created can be used for accessing APIs through different channels. Uh, another aspect of Google Cloud is to create different users having different kind of permissions. You can create them uh, by going into the IAM section and now you can actually click on grant access. Now you can select the new principal. Supposedly, if you want to give permission to a new email ID, supposedly this email ID. Now you can assign the particular role to them and then you can save them, save that to give the particular role, uh, role to that person. That's how IAM works. Apart from this, after you enable billing, you can get, uh, get access to different APIs like Vertex AI API, Compute Engines, and Cloud Storages, and other kind of uh, services that Google Cloud offers as a premium part of its uh, Google Cloud program. So yeah, that was all about uh, Google Cloud and how you can uh, access Google Cloud Console and also uh, create access keys for fetching data through APIs. So yeah, that's it, that's it for the video. Thank you guys.